everyone, David here. Today I'm going to show you how to use TouchCast to create video announcements. So my intention is to mirror my iPad screen to my computer to show you how it's done. Enjoy. So let's begin our tutorial by talking about themes. When I launch the TouchCast app, I'm greeted with a question. What do you want to do? If I want, I can choose to start from scratch, or annotate a web page, a video, a picture, a map, a file, an Instagram picture, and there's also some other options for themes as I continue to scroll, such as Newscast, Businesscast, and Sportscast. But the one I want to focus on for the purpose of this tutorial is News Studio, as this tends to be the most popular choice for schools starting video announcements. So I'm going to tap on News Studio, and you can see where the student needs to be placed in front of the green screen. Now I'm going to select Next. Here you can add a title and a subtitle. So perhaps you may wish to enter the name of your school, as well as maybe the date. And I'm going to press Done. And you can see where this information has been added under the latest news heading. So now that we've selected our theme, the next thing I want to show you within the TouchCast app are the different features that are available at the bottom of the application screen. So it starts with camera and ends with vApps. So I'm going to go back to camera and we can see that camera has been selected because it has a red line underneath it. Above the word camera are all the different features that are accessible within this option. So the first one we have is speed and besides speed we have teleprompt. So when I tap on teleprompt, the teleprompter appears on the right hand side of the screen. But right now all we have is the default text. What we want to do is replace this text with the actual announcements. So to do that, imagine a situation where a staff member in the building creates a folder in Google Drive and simply calls it announcements. Then what they do is they take five Google documents and put them inside that Google Drive folder. The documents are simply called Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Then that folder shared out amongst all of the staff in the school as well as the students that will be recording the video announcements. This is an opportunity to build capacity for using Google Apps for Education uh, within your school and it also provides staff with the flexibility to record their announcements at any time of their choosing on any device. So how do we do that? So let's imagine a situation where the students come into school and it's a Tuesday morning. So they open up the announcements folder in their Google Drive account and they have access to it because it's been shared with them and they find the Tuesday announcements. They open up the Google Doc, they hold their finger down on the announcements, press select all, copy, and then go back to the teleprompter. Then what they do is they press edit, release the edit button, hold their finger down in the white space, press paste, and then save. So you can see how easy it is to add the announcements to the teleprompter. Now when I press play, you'll see the text in the teleprompter start to move. There's a white line about halfway up the teleprompter. This is a good visual reference for students to know where their eyes should be so they don't get too far behind. Now if that speed is too fast, we have the ability to slow it right down or turn it up even faster if it's too slow. But I find somewhere in the middle is generally a good rule of thumb. To the right of the teleprompt option, we have mic. Mic allows you to turn on and off the microphone on the iPad. Camera gives you the option to turn the camera on the iPad on or off. More cameras, it's quite sophisticated and perhaps a tutorial for another time. But essentially, what it allows you to do is use the camera in additional iPads uh, to, as part of your TouchCast video. So imagine a situation where you place different iPads around your school and gives you, it gives you the potential to record video from those, cam from those cameras and put them into your TouchCast production. Next we have Color Temp. Color Temp allows you to adjust the color temperature in the different environments that you're doing your video recording. Lock simply allows you to lock in your brightness. Mirroring switches the perspective of the camera so that text appears the right way around. And Swap allows you to switch from the front facing camera to the rear camera.
So those are the different options available under the camera setting. To the right of camera, you have the record button. When students press the record button, they will see a countdown from three that will tell them when the video will start to be recorded. Then we have effects. If I tap on effects, on the left hand side, you have the ability to adjust the filter. However, I'm just going to leave it set to no filter. Then you can add some guidelines if you so wish. However, to the right of the guidelines, you see green screen. Using this particular theme, you cannot change the green screen as the intention is to have the students blend into the background of the new studio. If you'd like to change the green screen background, you'd have to pick a different theme, such as start from scratch. Under settings, you can adjust the background removal so that everything is just right. And then we have some different sound effects that can be added to your production. These are a lot of fun, especially if students are telling a joke of the day. So now let's move on to the whiteboard feature. So I'm going to select whiteboard on the bottom and working our way from the left to the right, we can access saved boards, save and clear a board. And the next one we see it lets you change the surface. So if I tap on glass and I'm in the glass setting right now. So basically this is just like your camera see through and we can also change the background into a whiteboard, a chalkboard and even a cross line. So I'm going to switch it back to glass now and move on to pen. Now pen allows you to select a tool and basically these tools will let you draw on top of your TouchCast production. So pen, we have an eraser. Let me just erase that line there. Okay. And then we also have access to text. We can draw some arrows and make rectangles. And right now, it's set to orange, so we can change the color. If we like a blue arrow, that can be done. Or a green arrow. And we can change the width of our lines and our arrows as well. So here we have a thicker one. So that's how that works. Then we have our undo button. We'll take my arrows away. And you also have the option to take your board and export it as a V app, which we'll get into shortly. All right, so next let's talk about titles. So I'm gonna select titles on the bottom. Okay, and here we have the option to add a new title. So I'm gonna tap on new title, and there's several titles that you wanna choose from. You just pick one that you like. So I'm gonna tap on this one, and to change the default text, you just simply tap the text and enter your new text there. Then you have the option to advance through the different titles, change them from the bottom here, flip them back and forth, and you can even time how long you want the title to appear or press hide high title to make it completely disappear. Last but not least, we have V apps. The V stands for video. So in the bottom right hand corner of my TouchCast screen, I'm going to tap V apps and then add a V app. Here you're presented with about 25 to 30 different V apps that you can choose from, but I'm only going to select two. The first one is photo. With photo, I can choose to access photos stored locally in my camera roll on my iPad, or I can select cloud services such as Google Drive. But I'm going to go back to albums all photos and I'm going to select the pizza and press use and I'm taking the pizza because I know the pizza day is upcoming in my school but I may also choose to uh, add a picture of a birthday cake for announcing birthdays a picture of a basketball for upcoming basketball practices etc now I can pinch and zoom to make the pizza larger or smaller or in the bottom right hand corner um, I can choose the resize tool. And in the bottom left hand corner, I can tap the symbol for settings and add things like titles. So I could say pizza, pizza day tomorrow. And done. So it adds a title to my picture. I could also choose the setting icon to change things like the transparency. I could add a link. Or if I wanted to, 
I could have the picture fade in and fade out at specified times. So to remove the picture of the pizza, I'm going to tap in the bottom right left hand corner. And if I want it to reappear, I'm going to tap there again and it will pop into my touch cast. So I'm going to get rid of the picture. I'm going to add another V app. And this time I'm going to show you YouTube. So I'm going to select a YouTube V app. And since we're talking about video announcements, I'm going to search for a video of the playing of O Canada. I'm going to select this one. And it's going to give me a preview of the video. And if I'm happy with the video that I've selected, in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to press Use. Now normally you'd want to get the full video for your announcements, but for our purposes, to save some time, I'm only going to select Get 30 Seconds. I'm just going to take this video and put it in to my TouchCast. Toggle the audio on, press Play, and it will start to play O Canada. I can choose to make it larger, or I can put it back in the, in the, on the left-hand side. And when I'm finished, I'm going to tap O Canada in the bottom left, and it will disappear. So those are only a couple of the V apps that you can choose from to enhance your video announcements. One of the final things I'd like to show you is how to take your video and play it on every screen within your school. So let's just pretend for a moment that the students have recorded their video, so they pressed record, counts down, and they would come on and say good morning, today is April the 12th, or whatever day it happens to be, and they would go through the teleprompter, they would add photos uh, that are relevant to the video, and when it's all finished, they would press done in the upper right hand corner. Now here what we have, we have an intro video, and we have the actual video that we shot. So if I maybe want a video clip to, at the end of my TouchCast, I can select the first video, the introduction, press duplicate, and move it to the end. I can also choose to change my transitions. Now I really like the add clip feature. So imagine a situation where your students perhaps spent a few days gathering video footage, highlighting different things that are happening in your building. Perhaps that means highlights from a basketball or volleyball game or showcasing your student goal or maybe you had a guest in your school and the students have interviewed this guest. Then they could record it on the iPad that you're using for your video announcements and then take that video clip and add it to the final production to show on every screen within your building. And they would do that by pressing add a clip and accessing the camera roll. Now when it's finished completely, you're going to press Export TouchCast in the upper right hand corner. And you're given a couple of options. The first thing you need to do is add a title. And then toggle on Save to Camera Roll. And in the upper right hand corner, tap Save. So what TouchCast is doing right now is it's rendering the video and adding it to the camera roll on the iPad. Now in the Thames Valley District School Board, what you would do is take the white lightning to USB cord that comes with every iPad and plug it into a school computer and copy and paste the video to the co common drive on your school intranet. Therefore, every teacher in the building can access the video without any streaming or buffering issues whatsoever. So that's it. That's how to use TouchCast to create video announcements. Now, of course, because of the time that we have, I had to go rather quickly. So if you have any questions, please send me an email or a tweet to at Thanks for watching.